Right, what's up? YouTube! So welcome back to another video guys. Today is the video most of you guys have been waiting for. It's the full day of eating. The next time I do a full day of eating video, that's when the changes are gonna be made on my prep. That is today, all the changes have been made. I'm gonna explain everything with what's going on with the diet, my cardio, my training, everything all the ins and outs you're going to find out on this video today i'm starting off today with my morning walk with my dog alfie he's somewhere around here now before any of you guys ask are you doing morning cardio are you doing fasted cardio no i'm not doing fasted morning cardio i haven't been instructed to do that by my coach i'm simply out here because this week i've been manic busy with work and getting youtube videos up for you guys alf you're kind of in the way move so yeah, as I was saying, this week I've been mad busy with work and getting content up for you guys. I haven't been able to walk him. Now, if you guys follow me on my Snapchat, I always walk him every single evening after I finish work and after I finish with everything. I haven't been able to do it this week, so I felt it's unfair on him. I wanted to get him out this morning. But the main thing you guys want to know is the full day of eating, food and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass you back to the past me and I am going to explain to you guys what's going down with the breakdown of my macros, my diet and everything. So I'm going to pass you over if, if we're, are we ready? Are we, pass me, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Over to you. <sighs> Nothing like a good old black coffee to start your day. Yeah. Alright, so thank you future... Uh, yeah, that's better. So anyway, thank you future me. So let me give you guys a little rundown and a breakdown of what's going on for the next phase of this prep. Now, I literally had the email from my coach two days ago, so it's all fresh to me. I'm literally going to read it to you word for word as it is here, and I'm going to give you a breakdown of what's going on in the next phase of this prep. So the plan of the attack for the next four weeks is we're going to be doing carb cycling, where we're going to have a high carb day, low carb day, and then one day of the week it's going to be a no carb at all. My high carb days will look like this, and it's going to be very, very bro foods on my high carb days. Now, most of you guys know that I keep all my foods bro food anyway. We're going to be using foods like egg whites, turkey, white rice, pasta, white fish, tuna, those sorts of uh, meals and those sorts of proteins. Reason being is because the macros for my high carb days is 300 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbohydrate, yes, 300 grams. Thank you! Only 35 grams of fat. Now that's the reason why it's gonna be very bro food on these days because to get that amount of fat in, it's gonna be very, very hard if I do flexible diet. If I start using foods that are higher in fats, you know, and most actual bro foods are quite high in fats. Oats themselves, you're looking around eight grams sometimes of fat in that meal. So that's why I like to keep it to white fish, tuna, egg whites. They are very low in fat and it's just gonna be easier to stick to my macros as regards to my fat. So that's that on my high carb day. So now here's my low carb day. And on my low carb day, I'm gonna be using my carbs in a time approach. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be using my carbohydrates in my two pre-workout meals and then my post-workout meal, just so I can get all my carbohydrates around the workout. This is where the best gonna be used. So for my low carb day, my macros look like this. 300 grams of protein again, 150 grams of carbohydrates, 50 grams of fats. Today is a low carb day, so the full day of eating on this video is going to show you how that looks on my low carb day. And last but not least, the day that I'm going to regret the most, no carb day. But it's a little secret I need to tell you. No carb day is actually telling a little lie. We're actually going to be getting 30 grams of carbohydrates on this day, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. So my macros for the no carb day looks like this. 350 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbohydrates, and 60 grams of fat. Now the reason why no carb day actually has 30 grams of carbohydrates is the 30 grams of carbohydrates I'm going to be getting as my pre-bed meal, simple as this. It's to help me sleep at night. As we all know, sleep is most important for growth, recovery and repair. And as we're in this prep mode, as we're going to be going on these no-carb days, the last thing that I want is to be getting into bed, staring at the wall, thinking, oh my god, I'm so hungry, I need food. So the 30 grams of carbohydrates are simply just to help me have a better night's sleep. But other than that, the rest of the day is going to be no carbs at all. That's the macros and the breakdown of everything for my high carb days, low carb days and no carb days for the next four weeks. So let's get today started. Full day of eating, meal number one, low carb day. 
Over to you. All right, so now you've got a little rundown on what's going on. Let's get meal number one started with. So as you guys know, today is a low carb day. So all my carbohydrates are gonna be around my pre-workout meals and my post-workout meals. So the two meals leading up to my workout is gonna be carbohydrates in there. And then my post-workout meal will be the remaining of my carbohydrates. So meal number one, breakfast looks a little bit like this. All right, so I've got four egg whites and one whole egg. I'm also gonna chuck in some turkey rashers. I'm gonna have two of them and that is pretty much gonna be it is going to be a very high protein meal and a little bit of fats with the whole egg. I'm also going to chuck in some vegetables just to get a little bit more volume in this meal and that is pretty much going to be it. So the macros for this meal is just there. That's meal number one with. Let's pass you back to future me. Okay, thank you past me for doing the breakdown and also showing meal number one. As you guys can see, I've literally moved from like that tree to here because it's absolutely chucking it down. Also, Alfie, wherever he is, he's like run off somewhere, hates the rain, so we're like hiding under this tree at the moment. Oh, there he is. You hate the rain, don't you? Huh? So yeah, we're kind of camping out at the moment under this tree, letting the rain die down. But yeah, you guys hear it. That's the breakdown of everything, all the macros at the moment. We're doing carb cycling for the next four weeks. And there's meal number one of the day, trying to get all my carbohydrates around my pre and post workout meal today. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on, wait for the rain to stop. We're gonna get our walk done and then get this full day of eating video started. So let's cue the montage. I won't sigh if my dreams are only dreams And it may not be the drawing that I drew Oh, I wish I had a better plan But so it seems that I don't know what the world wants me to do Oh, this road is long, it's long, it's long, it's long Without me This road is long, it's long, it's long, it's long So it's just coming up to 10 o'clock now. I'm about to get in meal number two, and this is going to be my first carb meal of the day, aka my pre pre workout meal. So I'm just going to get a nice, simple bro food. Do you know how it is? Some good old chicken, brown rice, green beans for my fiber. So a pretty simple standard meal, and the macros for that meal is just. So as you can see, around about 30 grams of carbohydrates in this meal. As regards to sauce and seasonings, I'm not going to have any ketchup on this meal. I can still have ketchup in my diet at the moment, but I've got a limit to the amount that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much limit it to the days when I really, really want it. But on this meal, as usual, I'm just going to use some sea salt and some ground turmeric, and that is pretty much it. Just going to sprinkle a little bit on there, and I'm going to dig into this now. So catch you guys in a bit. Tell you what, it's Saturday, even though it's been raining this morning, I'm in a good mood today, so I'm gonna treat my little boy. Ah, you know, don't you? You already know. Sit. Ah, you can smell it from a mile away, can't you? What's that? Just show everyone what you can do. Poor. Good boy. Other one. Good boy. Lay down. Boy. Go on. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. Ugh. All right, so it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. That means one thing. Time to get meal free in, pre-workout. Let's get to the kitchen. Ugh. All right, so pre-workout, one of my favorite meals of the day. You know what it is, oats, whey protein, proats. So first of all, what I like to do is I always warm up my oats for about a minute, a minute and a half. Then it keeps it soggy, but it doesn't make it too soggy or too dry. And then put on my scales, Wait till it says zero, and I'm gonna add 50 grams of impact whey protein. Boom, 50 grams. All right, so before I mix that, I also add in there some HMB. I only put one scoop in there, which is five grams. It's unflavored, so it doesn't mix in with it on top. So quickly mix that all in, and hey, look at that. So like I said, I don't make it too runny or too dry, because once I add in the whey protein, it makes it just perfect and that nice, thick texture. So now I've just got to add in my peanut bar. Now it's going to be a bit of a waste because I have to use another spoon, but you guys know my trick. Stick that on the scales, press zero. Now I want 15 grams, so I'm going to take out, this is going to be well hard one-handed. 
Alright, so there's a little bit back. Minus 14, that's good enough. Stick that in there, that way you don't waste none of it. So there you go, that's my pre-workout meal. The macros for that is just there. Also, with this meal, I'm going to have 5 grams of creatine in my Storm Sports shaker. I always, as you guys know, have 5 grams of creatine, at least with some sort of carbohydrates. And I'm going to have that with my post pre-workout, shall I say, in there. Lid on. Boom. Let's do it. Meanwhile. I don't even know why I've just done that. It's probably because it's a beautiful day today. Positive vibes. I'm in a good mood. But anyway, I'm outside the gym now. About to go in. I've got my pre-workout with me. Two scoops of the Stimmy Max. As you guys know, it's a full day of eating today. So there's no video of the workouts. You know, I'll keep it just to the food. That way it keeps this video nice and short. But I'm going to sip on this now. Get this uh, two scoops in me. I'm really feeling this workout today. I think Stimmy Max is going to bring some crazy pump. So... Let that sink in, get this workout done with, and uh, I'll catch you guys back in here. So, uh, ah, woo. All right, guys, another gym session done, another step closer to that stage, and, of course, another intense workout. Let me put it in perspective for you guys. This is the T-shirt that I wore during the workout, and I had to take it off halfway through. So, uh, yeah, you probably can't tell, but it's absolutely soaking wet in sweat. That's how bad my intensity was today. But I bossed it as always, and of course I finished off with some cardio. As you guys saw this morning, I was walking my dog. We was meant to go for like a 20, 30 minute walk, but it rained, so my walk got cut short. So I thought I'd finish it off up the gym. 20 minutes, no, 15 minutes actually, on the stair mill, just to finish it off. I'm now back at home. I'm done, I'm tired, I need some food. I'm gonna get my post-workout shake, so uh, let's head into the kitchen. All right, so you guys normally know that I come home, first thing I do is have a shower just to get freshened up and just so I'm not all sticky and sweaty. But today that workout completely killed me. I feel all dehydrated and I just wanted my shake first. So I'm going to do that. I've got that all ready for me. I've just got some ice cubes in there. I've got 150 grams of some frozen berries, which has got like strawberries, blueberries and whatnot in there. 50 grams of whey protein and 10 grams of L-glutamine. Just need to put some water in there. Sticker on, don't forget that lid, and away she goes. Yeah, and you guys know, straight out the tub. Ooh, brain freeze. So yeah, I kind of added a few extra ice cubes just to make it more thick, and whew, that was cold, but anyway, I'm going to finish this off, then have my shower, give it about half hour, 45 minutes, then get my last carb meal in a day. The macros for this shake is just there. I'm back here, so I'll see you guys on my next meal. Okay guys, so it's just coming up to half past four now. It's been exactly 45 minutes since I last spoke to you and had my post-workout shake. As you can see, I'm all in some nice gear because I've got about an hour to kill, then I'm off out to meet a few friends for the evening, but I'm about to get my post-workout meal in now. And look at that beauty. I've got some white rice, some tuna, and some vegetables. As you can see, that Tommy ketchup as well. Only a little bit, sea salt, and that is pretty much it. The macros for that meal is just so as you can see, I've held back a bit on my carbohydrates. I've got about 10 grams to hit for the rest of the day. Now the reason why I've done that is because I've still got like 100 grams of protein to hit and 20 grams of f uh, fats. So some of the fats may hold some carbohydrates in there. So if I allow 10 grams of carbohydrates just to sit there, hopefully I should make that up with the fats and the proteins I'll eat for the rest of the day. But I've got, like I said, an hour to kill. So I'm gonna catch up with some online clients, check up the website, see how things are doing. And then I'm heading off out with a few friends. So I'm going to dig into this meal because it looks delicious. And I'm hungry. Yeah. Ow. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. See you in a bit. All right, guys. So I'm just on my way to meet a few friends of mine. Now, a few of you are probably asking, where are you off to? Can you go out while you're dieting and in the middle of a prep? Because, you know, you can't go out. You've got to eat all your food. You've got to stay really strict and be, you know, make all the sacrifices. Now, yes, to a certain extent, when you're dieting or some sort of prep, 
you will have to make sacrifices and this means you know there's certain events that you won't be able to go to you know if there's a family party or you know friends are going out on the weekend you ain't gonna be able to do that but when there are opportunities that you can go to places that doesn't involve food or drinking and things like that take the advantage while you can because if you just force yourself to stay at home all the time what's going to happen is it's just going to mess with your head and you know you're more likely to fall off the bandwagon especially when you're dieting in the prep and you're just sticking yourself at home you're going to feel like you're in a prison you can't do nothing you want that normal life so when you can go out places that doesn't involve food or drinking do it i'm only going to a pub to meet a few friends of mine yes i know there's going to be drinking there but i'm not going to be drinking i know i don't need to so Take the opportunity while you can. If you can go out, if you can go places, do it every now and then. It just keeps your mind fresh and it keeps you not going insane and being in a prep mode or being dieting and things like that. So yeah, I'm on my way there now. I just thought I wanted to give you that bit of a tip and advice so you don't kind of lose it, you know, up here in your head because dieting alone can do that to you. Now to force yourself to stay at home and be like in imprisonment, that's just gonna make things so much worse. So yeah, I thought I'd just give you guys that tip. I'm nearly there now, and uh, I'm only there for a couple of hours. Then when I get back home, I'll have my meal. I'm not one of these bro people that's gonna take all my Tupperwares with me. I don't need to do that. I'm only like literally around the corner. So I need a couple of hours, see a few friends, enjoy the sun, get back home, and then get my next meal in. So I'll catch you guys there. Oh, all right guys, so I just got back home and it's just coming up to half past eight now. On my way back home, I thought, you know, I'm gonna check my fitness pal, see what my macros are, and I thought I'll sort out what my next meal's gonna be. So as soon as I get home, I kinda already know what it is and I can just make it. So I put it already in my fitness pal app. So as you can see, I've got 200 grams of chicken and I'm gonna have 15 grams of peanut butter and that's pretty much it for my next meal. And that will give me in total 249 protein, 136 carbs, and 41 fats. Yeah. Boom. So there you go. Some good old chicken, some peanut butter, and of course some veg with green beans and broccoli. And that is pretty much it. So that's meal number five. I'm about to dig into that. And also, don't forget, guys, we have the free giveaway. We're literally 10 subscribers away from hitting 500. Once we reach 500 subscribers, if you're new to the channel, I'm giving away a My Protein Supplement. I'm actually giving away this. It's the My Amino Boost or also the My Amino Complex. You can win one or the other. All you have to do to be in a chance of winning is subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go follow me on my Instagram and go drop some likes on my post. The more likes that you drop, the better chance that you have at winning that free giveaway. So go do that now while I dig into my food and I'll catch you guys on the last meal of the day. Alright guys, so I'm just going to wrap up this video now. It's just come up to 11 o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered. But I'm about to get my last meal of the day in. And the remaining of my macros are in this last meal. So I've got seven egg whites, two whole eggs, and that is pretty much it. The macros for that meal is just there. And my total macros for today is just there. So there you go guys, that's pretty much it. That's a breakdown of everything that's going on for the next four weeks, the next phase of the prep. Also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm going to be doing another full day of eating video on the no carb day and also the high carb day. So the only way you can watch those videos is by subscribing to the YouTube channel. And also, don't forget, get involved in that free giveaway. 10 subscribers away, that's only five, but another one of them. 10 subscribers away and then we'll be doing that free giveaway. So get involved in that. Also, give this video a big thumbs up up if you did enjoy it leave a comment also and i'll see you guys on the next video stay safe as always and make it happen peace